My next poem is called Frustration. You want real honesty, Topanga. Can you handle real honesty? I just want to know what it's going to take to share your toothbrush. The truth is, I could never share any of my personal items with someone who won't even show me her tushy. <laughs> no tushy, no brushy. I think that's fair. I... what? Will you please look at these dates? No, I'm wet and naked. Me too. You're not naked. Corey, I can't pick out a wedding dress or flowers or anything until we set a date. Will I ever see you naked? Someday. Sunday? Pick a date. How about your tushy right now was a sign of good faith? Ha! <laughs> nice try, babe. Ooh, nice tush. <laughs> Corey, I've made a ton of suggestions and you don't like any of them. Well, that's because you haven't mentioned the one place that I want to go. Where's that? You know. Corey. I want it. Corey, I'm beginning to think this wedding is just a prelude to sex for you. That's brilliant, Sherlock. Oh, so you're just marrying me so we can consummate our relationship? Me and 900 million other guys. Corey, I'm beginning to think you'd be fine if we just spent our honeymoon in any old hotel. Or in the road. Corey, that's sick. That's sick? I'm sick? You know what's sick, everyone? We have been in a relationship for 17 years, and do you know what I've gotten in all that time? Let me touch something! Listen, I know things are gonna happen between us when they're supposed to happen. And I know I'll wait until they do. Yeah? How do you know? Well, I just know that the best things in life are worth waiting for. Yeah. I feel that same way about you, Corey. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sure. You know, you're a very sexy boy, Corey. Really? I'm a sexy boy. <laughs> Thanks. Can't wait to tell Sean. <laughs> Don't you want to oh. explore? No. And take our time? Why? Because there's such a thing as foreplay. Don't need it. Well, maybe I might. Stepanga, you've had 12 years of it. How much more do you require? Just wait right here. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. No. No. Don't leave me. I can't do this alone. <laughs> oh. She's gone. What'll I do? I call this next poem Feeny. <laughs> Mr. Feeny is very smart on many subjects, including art. <laughs> and yet he can't help me with my frustration. Come on, the panga! But out of other people's lives for one week. Otherwise, you get an F. But I've never failed before. There's a first time for everything. That argument doesn't get you anywhere with her. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is wrong, but I'm actually starting to enjoy this deceitful little game. You are? Really? Yeah, I mean, don't you find it sexy, Corey? Corey and sexy in the same sentence. Wow. I have seen the promised land. I showed him my butt. He touched the butt. The point is, where have you been? I mean, today was the day we were supposed to talk about our plans for Valentine's Day. You knew that. Morgan called me. She needed to ride home from school. Morgan. Why did you call her? Why didn't you call mom? You know today is the day before Valentine's Day. You know I am trying to get the focus back on Cory and Topanga. Do you understand that you owe me? Yes. Do you intend to pay me? Yes. In the road? Yes, in the road. And you'll call me Don Francisco? Yes. Yes, who? Yes, Don Francisco. <laughs> All right, I'll marry you. You and I are living together to get closer as a couple. This needs to be an ordinary night where we behave just as ourselves, nothing special. Sex is the last thing we should be doing. 
<laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> you just are. <laughs> but I'm looking very forward to spending all of the next few days together, getting to know you better than I ever have before. <laughs> well, if I would have known we were just going to do that, I would have bought the flannel pajamas with the feet. <laughs> Instead of the silk pajamas and the silk blanket and these silk sheets. <laughs> I hold in my hand a key, a key to the honeymoon suite of the Philadelphia Victoria Hotel, so that after this party, bye. Panga, <laughs> Bermuda. I'll call you whatever you want. Okay, we're gonna honeymoon in Bermuda. It's the perfect climate, fabulous food, and just about the best darn snorkeling this side of anywhere. But I don't want to be in the ocean. I want to be in the room, a lot. <laughs> so obsessed with sex? Because I don't get any. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> oh. oh, my. Oh, this is so great. I wish Sean was here. <laughs> I love you. I love you. And I love Eric. Dun, dun, dun. Well, this, it's not so hard. Call me Don Francisco. Yes, Don Francisco. That's what's making this so hard now. This is so great. I wish Sean was here. You sure, Daddy? Sean, come on, position it. I'm not sorry.